What's up, guys? This is Gage. Back to work on the 48. Um, today, we are going to be installing the bench seat, getting that put in the truck. Uh, as you know before, he used to have these bucket seats in it. And since we have a four-week-old now and plan on taking her on trips, car shows, races, all that, we need to install a bench seat. Because with that console there, only two buckets, can't really haul around with us. So today we're gonna get that put in there, see if we have to fab up any mounts. Hopefully we don't. Um, see if maybe it'll sit on these old plates where the buckets used to mount. But we'll see, we're gonna find out if, if it'll match up. Uh, recap though, that bench seat uh, is out of an 88 to 98 uh, Chevrolet pickup or GMC pickup single cab it's not a 60 40 split it's just a full bench and uh, believe it's 57 inches wide uh, I measured the cab inside of door to inside of door and it was about 58 and a half inches so it's gonna be close hopefully it'll fit just fine uh, but other than that let's get into it As you saw guys, we got the seat put in there. I'm by myself putting it in, so it's a little bit of a struggle. It's not too heavy, but it's awkward size. So as you saw, we got it put in there. I would say it fits pretty good. As you can see here, we're sitting right on the plates that we wanna sit on. The back of the seat clears. Let me see if I can get you guys a light real quick. Don't think you can see that. Let's see here. All right. There we go. So as you can see, sitting on the mounts there. Mounting hole. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Seat clears very tight on this side. Pretty sure it's equally as tight on the other side. Let's take a look. As you can see, we're sitting on the rail over here. Mounting hole looks like it'll be good there. Same with that one on this side. And as far as this side, clearance is about the same. I did measure the seat. And we were sitting at four and three quarter uh, from the back of the cab to the back of the seat on both sides. I have it at about halfway on the track so it's scooted forward as far as it'll possibly go should give us plenty of room let's take a look over here again yes it's all the way forward so it looks like now the only thing to do drill some holes and uh see if we can't get it mounted in there get it mounted firm and give it a test test and see if it uh fits in the right spot so uh, let's get into that.
right, guys. Got the other holes drilled. Got the seat in. Got it bolted down. Uh, we just used some grade eight lock nuts and some grade eight bolts. Got it all put in there and bolted in. And uh, it's secure and it's looking pretty good. So as you can see, fits perfect on this frame. Um, man, I wish they fab these frames up for anybody with a 47 to 53 truck because it's a pretty good universal frame for anything. As you can see, it fits good there. Fits nice. Fits good against the back of the cab. Check out that other side. As you can see, we're fitting pretty good on this side as well. Fitting nice. Fits nice on the cab as well. And let me tell you, you get in this thing, it fits good. Before, you are real close to the steering wheel and it made it real uncomfortable to drive because you're just holding the wheel about right here. And for a guy that's six foot plus, it's just not comfy. Given we have some good leg room, enough for passenger, baby of course, but I think this is pretty good. You can actually stretch your arm out on the steering wheel. You can even adjust the steering wheel down now if I need to, which makes it way better. It's not sitting up like a school bus. So yeah, I think that was a success today. Um, what's next, right? I think what's next, we might do the carpet. Yeah, we gotta pull the seat back out. Gotta pull the frame out, which means two person job. Hopefully I have my brother and my wife come out and help me remove that frame. Get the full carpet put in there. The old carpet, I'll show you that real quick. The old carpet's not, not in horrible shape. It's just a little, it's a little faded, a little rough in some areas from being used every day. So, and as you can see, it's a half carpet. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that carpet, throw it away, get ourselves a new full length carpet, cut it real nice along the edge here, hide all that dynamat, and uh, probably give that frame a new paint job. And then, let's see here. Grab my light, see if I can't show you under there. This truck had truck had a sound system in it before. It had a single 10 or a 12 behind the seat, one of those wedge boxes, and uh, sounded great, worked fantastic, but with moving that battery behind the seat, there's no more room for that sub to be behind the seat. So, since I used to have a 1994-54 pickup, I knew how much room was under these seats and the way the brackets are set up. So I was hoping we have quite a bit of room for an under seat sub setup. And it looks like, grab this old light here. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of room under here. We have probably 12 inches of space wedging down to maybe 10. So we'll have plenty of room in this thing to do the two tins that I plan on putting in there, some shallow pioneers, uh, nothing crazy, but to get some base back. But yeah, other than that, I think that'll conclude the video for the day. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think this seat looks pretty good in the truck, if it fits the era some kind of way, maybe. But there she is there. Stays right below that back window before the headrest would block about that much of the window. So with this bench seat, when you look out of the rear view, you can finally use the whole rear window. So that'll conclude the video for today, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and subscribe. Thanks, peace.